Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got something super cool. We got a mystery box. So to those of you who are new to the channel, BattleBox we used to subscribe to and we, we got I think a total of four or five boxes and we would open them every month and see what's inside, kind of mystery survival gear. And after four or five, I canceled. I stopped paying for it and I didn't want it anymore. I just didn't see the value in it. But about a month ago, I came home and found this on my front porch. At first I was like, oh man, I didn't cancel in time or something. I went on their site, no record of this being shipped to me. I went on my bank, no record of me paying for this. Not sure where it came from, why it's here, but it's here and I sat on it for a month waiting to see did BattleBox say, hey, we sent it to you by mistake. Did I get charged or something? It's been over a month now, nothing. So I'm calling this mystery box. No idea what's inside of it. No idea if it's a mission, what it is. If it's a, hey, we're really sorry that you left. No clue, but let's open it up today and find out together. So like I said, if you're new to the channel, this is kind of a monthly subscription box is what BattleBox is. Uh, it's kind of a tiered system. They go basic, advanced, pro, and pro plus. Each tier has the lower tiers stuff with it with additional things up to the pro plus box, which usually is like kind of a knife. It's usually knife of the month club. We subscribe to the pro box every month and it was usually up to some pretty cool gear, but some of it was cool. And to be honest, a lot of it was was just stuff I'm never gonna use or I already have things of it. So I just didn't see the value in it and we wound up leaving the subscription. But not sure what's in this one, so let's get into it and find out. All right, so this is a mission. Uh, inside every box, they give you kind of this mission brief. So we're gonna do another mission unboxing. This is mission 115. Let's see what we got. So first up is the Bushcraft Coffee Company right here. Uh, medium roast coffee, rich, smooth notes of almond, hints of cinnamon and lingering finish. Uh, single serve steeped bag. Oh, these are cool. Okay, I've seen stuff like this. This is like, it's coffee, but it's kind of like a tea bag type thing. So inside, they give you one, two, three, four, five. That's cool. I'm not gonna open these because I want to want to use this right now and I don't want coffee. It's it's late at night. So I will do another video on these to see how they are. This is kind of cool. So right now when I make coffee, I like different ways to make it, but my usual thing is with an AeroPress or something like that. But this is just put hot water in a cup and, and dip it kind of like tea bag. So I'm interested to see how this tastes. Uh, if, you've, you, if you've had the Bushcraft Coffee Company's coffee before, let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, or if it's good or not. We'll see. And they're all compostable bags uh, and packs. Nice, everything's compostable. And next up is something we've gotten before from them. A simple strap, one inch by a 20 foot roll. So simple strap, was kind of cool. Oh, this was a little bit thinner than what I got before. So let's see if I can. So what this is, is a 20 foot roll of this one inch rubber strapping. I did use this. I still have it actually in my truck. They gave us a thicker roll last time. It was probably an inch and a half, maybe two inches thick or two inches wide, I, I should say. Um, this stuff is pretty cool. It's kind of like a tie down type thing, like tie gear down on the back of your truck or whatever. I use it a lot. I wouldn't do anything that you want like super locked down. You're not tying your motorcycle down with this or uh, you know, your kayak or anything. But if you're like bundling up some lumber or something, when I go to the hardware store and I got a bunch of two by fours, I'll strap this around it and that'll kind of hold them all together. It's pretty cool. I'll use it. It's a 20 foot roll of it. so. That's not bad, it does last. So you can basically take your knife, cut it, pair of scissors, whatever, cut the length that you need, and then it kind of wraps around itself. 
uh, and and kind of once it's in there and kind of tuck it under itself, it does lock down pretty tight and it de doesn't really ever move. So pretty cool stuff, reusable. You could cut the length you need and then just roll it back up, throw it in your bag in a pack or whatever. Uh, good for gear and stuff like that at camp out. So this stuff is pretty cool. If uh, I don't know that I would go out and buy it. You know, I got tie downs and things, but and rope, but it is an option. And I think the reason I use it is because they gave it to me for free, but it's not bad. It's cool stuff. So simple strap. Let's see what is next. The Wazoo cash cap. Uh, okay. So this is a hat that has a bunch of interior pockets. It has a reflective X signal inside, I guess, so you can have a signal. Uh, it has slot pockets built into, okay, so each one of these things has like a Velcro, very strong Velcro, how the hell do you open it there? So it has like a Velcro pocket inside you can put things in. I don't know what you're putting in there. Maybe some rolled up cash or something. Um, you're not putting anything big into it. it. Has three, three interior pockets, and then a slotted bill pocket you can put stuff in there. Uh, and then just a Velcro patch for the front. Ah, uh, I mean, if this type of hat is your thing. I guess, but I'm not a fan of snapbacks or anything like that's a Velcro back, I guess, but snapback style. It's uh, it's okay. I imagine you just like, what can you put in here that's not going to be like bulging out of your head as you wear this thing? I don't know. It, it's kind of gimmicky if you ask me, but it's, it's going to sit there. I'm never going to use it, but I, I guess it's cool if you're looking for somewhere to store cash. Um, I guess you could hide it in your hat, you know, but all someone has to do is take the hat then. I don't know. It, it's, eh. Okay, what's next? The, uh, so that's it for the basic box. Only three items. I would have been pissed. Um, and the next thing is the outdoor element contour feather knife. All right. So this is kind of, kind of cool. Okay. So it's got a kydex sheath. It's kind of like a neck knife type thing, or I guess you could put it on your belt clip or something. So let's see, do this where it doesn't. It's kind of a tiny little knife, kind of cool. Uh, it's got a hole in probably just to lighten the weight. It's got a little hex key on there. I don't know what that's for. Maybe an oxygen tank or something. Um, decent decently sharp little blade. That's kind of cool. It fits in your hand pretty nice. I like the Kydex sheath. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm looking, seeing more as I go. It's got a ceramic blade sharpener in the inside. It's kind of to hone, hone the blade, I guess. And then on the back side here, that looks like they've got a hexagon uh, fire striker. Oh, and they do have on the back side here a flat spot that says strike. Strike on it so you can strike. Let's see. Scrape the paint off a little bit. Yeah. Nice, man. This is pretty cool. I I dig this. You know, it's a tiny little knife, but that's all you need most times. This is actually oh, I'm burning up my cover. Uh, this is actually a really nice little knife. I like that. It's comfortable. Fits well in your hand. Is there an emergency whistle on this thing? There is. That's cool. Sorry if I just blew out your ears. That's cool. It's even got an emergency whistle. This is a nice little survival knife. This is cool. It's small. It's lightweight. It fits really good in your hand. You could probably do a lot of amazing, just good little task work with this. Uh, very nice. I like that. That's cool. That was the item in the advanced box. Oh, there's two items in the advanced box. The next item is the Outdoor Element Omni Tensil Set. That's cool. Uh, it's got a roll-up towel organizer that holds everything. So you can use it as a towel. 
And then it looks like these tubes are probably the handles. And then you could screw on things like chopsticks, a spoon. That's a decent, decently sized spoon. Uh, fork. Oh, they give you a bamboo toothbrush and kind of this like silicone thing uh, that looks like that's made to put both of these tubes together and you can make a bellows out of it. I would stick them on the ends and make it this fork and the spoon and make it into like tongs, to be honest, or even the chopsticks you could use as like tongs to grab things. And then this must be the tool roll. I'm not gonna open all this right now, but that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know that I'll use it. I use a lot of titanium stuff. I kind of have my go-to set but I don't mind this. So I might either gift this to a subscriber or I might use it, we'll see. Not sure yet. And then for the Pro Box this month or whatever this, this uh, mission was, okay, I would have been pissed about this. This is the M1 Maverick Bifold Wallet Spec Ops. Uh, so they give you a bit of cordage, kind of a lanyard thing probably. And then it's, how do you open this thing? Uh, oh, okay, so that just like, it's got like a seat belt kind of attachment thing that goes in that pocket. And that's how you open it. And then it's got, I don't know what this is, man. It's got a place to put your cards, I guess, in the back. Or a card in the back. So you can like slide it up. That's cool, I guess. Um, and then it's got like a band, like this rubber strap on there. Must be to like hold your cards and then you can slide it up or something when you want a card. But then there's this thing in the back I don't know how you get that out of there. Maybe that doesn't come out. I don't know. I'm going to have to play with this. It, it's heavy as hell. Uh, I mean, it's thin, I guess. If you had your card in there. Oh, there's a slot there to put your card or cards or something. Um, maybe your ID goes in there. But I don't know what all this is for. It's like solid metal body. And it's heavy. Like, I wouldn't want this. Once you load this up with even more cards and money or whatever... Like, you gotta like dig this thing out to get it open all the time. They're like, hang on, I gotta get that out. I, I don't know, it is kind of gimmicky if you ask me. It, it, I'm never gonna put this in my pocket sitting on this thing all day long. Is it gonna be a pain? Or is it meant to maybe to go in your front pocket? But even still, it's heavy, man. This is probably heavier than your cell phone. And I don't know. Uh, let's see what it's got a multi-tool that thing inside there is a multi-tool how do you get it out this is a keyhole a chisel a quarter inch wrench flathead screwdriver I don't so and a Phillips screwdriver this little thing and then this Lift and pull up. Remove multi-tool before, what? How do you get this thing out? Does this maybe come out? Oh, I see, okay. Wow. So here's your multi-tool. It's got a freaking bottle opener, a rope, Tensioner, serrated edge, oxygen sensor wrench, sharp edge. That's not that's not sharp. Chisel, a nail puller, a quarter inch hex wrench, and a belt strap cutter. Um, do you want to carry this around all day? I, I, that'd be. Ooh, there you go. I guess you could use it as a self-defense tool. That's kind of neat if you want to pick someone up. Um, but you still like this whole, okay, so this is plastic, the base. 
So you gotta like, it like locks in there on a wedge and then this thing goes over top of it like that. I, nah, I don't know. It, it, it's cool. There's a lot of thought put into it. It's machined well. Uh, the, the materials seem very well. If this is your thing, yeah, man, this might be for you. It's kind of neat, but like that, this is a pain in the ass, man. This thing here. I don't, can I just lock that in somewhere where I don't have to do that and I can flip it open? Like the opening and closing, it's annoying. I, I don't know. This, this thing's not my, I'm not a fan of that, of like having to push that in there, I guess. I don't know. It, that one is going to subscriber if you want it. I'll even put the paperwork back in for you. I'm never gonna use this, but that's cool. And if you got the Pro Plus box, you would have got the Battle Box Limited Edition Keychain by Russ Comer Knife. Oh, no, not Keychain. Catch, catch a can, catch a can. Knife, that thing. So they gave you another one of these, but a little bit bigger kind of knife. Um, so, I'm even gonna put the sleeve back on it for you because this thing will never see the light of day with me. Dumb. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this type of content, subscribe down below, give me a thumbs up, comment. What do you think of BattleBox? I was annoyed by them when we had the subscription. I'm glad I didn't pay for this one. Uh, it was kind of a freebie. There was some cool stuff in it. Out of anything, I'm gonna say the coffee, the utensil set was decent, and this knife was pretty badass. Um, everything else, the hat, the thick, that's stupid. The wallet is kind of stupid. The simple strap, yeah, it has its purpose, so I'll use it. Uh, throw it in the garage and I'll use it for something. That wasn't too bad. Uh, like I said the coffee, that was really good in the utensil set. That's not bad either, although that spoon. Look how thick that spoon is. I don't know. How about that? We'll see. I might give this to my son for, um, I might give this to my son for his scout, for his mess kit for scouts. I think he'd, he'd like this a little bit, a little bit more than me. So anyway, that, like I said, that's it for today. Subscribe down below, do all the things. I'll see you on the next one.